Others deal with what is known as postpartum depression after birth, but it's not just depression some new moms are experiencing. Our Haley Morgan found out about a new Vermont program screening parents during their child's checkup. She asked me the question, like, do, have you ever had the, the feeling that you just cannot take it and you want to, like, just shake him? Like, can you please stop? I'm like, I did. Um, had those feelings. Mom of two Jessica Murray is talking about when her doctor asked how she was doing after her second child. The questions and answers led to a postpartum depression diagnosis. I was not patient enough with, with Lincoln. It was more of a, you're crying, but I don't want to figure it out what it is that is going on. I just want you to go away. UVM pediatric psychiatrist Dr. Guth says the medical community has moved away from postpartum depression and is using prenatal mood and anxiety disorder as more moms are suffering more symptoms. That could include anything from low mood or anxiety to a feeling of being overwhelmed or confused having negative thoughts of yourself as a parent, and even difficulty finding pleasure in everyday activities and bonding with your child. It was one in five before the pandemic. Some people say it's as much as one in three now since the pandemic, since there's been a lot of isolation in those early weeks following delivery. I think it's getting better, so I would say about one in four. Laura Pentonator from the Vermont Health Department says it's becoming more common in mothers here, and the state is responding with what they call support delivered. She says the service can connect parents to providers that can help. It's um, a wonderful resource that can be reached by calling Help Me Grow. Um, dial 211 and choose option six for Help Me Grow. Dr. Guth says that pediatric offices in some states, including Vermont, have dedicated time to screen mothers for prenatal mood and anxiety disorder. These screenings usually take place at the child's one, two, and six month visits. Although it's not required, it is recommended so the state can learn from the data and the women that need help get the support they need. It's called the Edinburgh Postnatal Depression Scale, and it's a quick screen that allows people to see who are looking at it if a woman screens in positive it's a score of 10 or higher murray says she appreciated the care she got but knows other moms in other states may not get the same help she did i was just talking to my friend yesterday about it and she's like yeah i kept like mentioning things and bringing things up that i i don't want to say it out loud because i don't want to auto diagnose myself but I, they're there like those thoughts and feelings in they're just like, oh, it's just hormonal. Murray says that her relationship with her sons is better, and she's also feeling better. If you have more questions about where to go to get support, you can go to our website at WCAX.com to learn more. In Burlington, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.